children are the fruit of love that blossomed within families around the world. The future of the nations and civilizations depends on them. But what if the fruit goes bad? In several societies, children grow up, but their rights and ideas are violated. Consequently, the World Catholic Association for Communication, Cygnus, that has celebrated recently its 80th anniversary, drew attention to these sacred creatures, holding a World Congress under the theme Media for a Culture of Peace. Children write Tomorrow's Promise at Chiang Mai City, Thailand, from the 17th to the 21st of October 2009. More than 600 media and development professionals, Catholic communicators and young people urged the media to stand up for children and appreciate their innovations. The five-day Congress included workshops and intensive dialogue sessions in which the participants discussed issues related to media and children's rights. Cygnus is the World Catholic Association for Communication. Um, this is the first Cygnus World Congress in uh, Asia and uh, we have more than 500 people from all over the world who are professional communicators. Uh, what is uh, significant is the theme of this Congress, uh, Media for a Culture of Peace and uh, Children's Rights, Tomorrow's Promise. Um, the reason is uh, we live in a very violent world and I'm sure in Lebanon you realize that. Uh, and the message of Jesus Christ is peace, peace on earth to all people of goodwill. And for us, we see the message of Jesus Christ and the message of the media is one, peace. And if there is peace, then our children can grow in peace. That is why we brought children together. Um, in a violent world, the ones that suffer the most are women and children. Uh, adults know uh, the reason for violence, children don't know, they just suffer. And if we only discuss among ourselves as adults about peace and do nothing, then we have all the intention but no action. So that is the reason why we brought children together, because we want to see the world through their eyes. A large exhibition of children's hand kerchiefs from all over the world was held within a project launched by Cygnus Asia aiming at building a better future for children that are tomorrow's promise. Focus on children's rights took place uh, sometime about two years ago and uh, we developed this idea about children's uh, rights tomorrow's promise from discussion from uh, Rome in uh, the executive board and uh, Asia at the time was also focusing on children and we also looked at uh, the documents of the church and also the uh, Holy Father's message in 2007 about uh, children and education and we took this and also from the United Nations which called for ch focusing on children so uh, so it started from there and we felt that uh, we should uh, emphasize this point about children and uh, make not only church but also the circular world uh, understand about uh, to be part of this ongoing uh, message about focusing on children. And uh, to develop this, we try to get children, uh, you know, uh, participate in this. And that's how the idea of the children's uh, handkerchief came about. Children from 3 to 12 years old of all nationalities, races and religions featured their handprints on handkerchiefs with different color paints expressing their dreams and claims. Then, these paintings were sent to Thailand to be displayed. We started off just simply by, uh, you know, having children's handprint on, on the handkerchief, but uh, later on, as we turned this into slowly building this into a global thing, uh, every, every country, every community, every region had its own story to tell. Uh, children from uh, refugee homes, children, migrant children, uh, children from different race, different culture came together and, and they, um, you know, not just uh, put their handprint on the handkerchief, but there was a story behind every uh, handkerchief. 
promising to preserve the children's rights, Cygnus, through its members, helped thousands of children from all over the world, from Japan, Australia, Southeast Asia, the Americas, Europe, and the Middle East, to express loudly their rights. Responding to its call, many children raised their voice through their hand-printed handkerchiefs using colors that show joy and hope. Highlighting their demands and ambitions, children sought to make their voices heard by whoever is responsible for preserving their dignity. There was collaboration between Thailand, uh, Asia, Cygnus Asia, Cygnus Africa, the Brussels Secretariat, and then we had our members very active in uh, producing, for no cost, producing very good uh, documentaries and, and special productions for this uh, Congress, like Tele Lumiere helped with that. Our members all over helped with the, the production of the uh, eight, six or seven minutes calling for children's rights. There was this, the uh, handkerchief project, where handkerchiefs were sent from all over the world, where children have participated and given a message. So uh, I feel that the, it has moved Cygnus towards doing something new. Through the Lebanese TV station Tele Lumière, a Cygnus member, a campaign was launched and children responded positively, hoping to live in peace. From Lebanon, Syria, the Holy Land, Jordan and other countries, children sent their handkerchiefs to Tele Lumière, who also produced a television program showing the outcome of the project. ويعني الأطفال مثلا المرضى مثلنا أنه يكون لنا حق العلاج وهيك بس لأن ما فيهم ألمو ما فيهم حكمو أنه حكمو مز بمان نغ أشغال ما لازم يتأمم مطارح للمعوقين مثلا مطرح يقدروا يستعملوا الآلات مثلا الشاذات يطلعوا مثلا برياحة أي مطرح. After being exhibited in Chiang Mai Congress, all the flags and handkerchiefs were sent to Lebanon through Tele Lumière that was entrusted with the task of transmitting the voice of the children from all over the world to the Lebanese Parliament and to the United Nations in the future. And something special is going to happen to the handkerchiefs. First of all, they're going to be packed up and they're going to be sent to Beirut, Lebanon. They're going to be sent to Tele Lumiere and they're going to be presented to the parliament, at the parliament, of the, the Lebanese parliament, as a message of the children of the world to them. This is thanks to Tele Lumiere once again. But the hope is that it's not going to stop there. It initiated here in Cygnus, and with the help of a number of organizations, we have brainstormed a little bit. We're hoping to take this and, and expand this. We want to get the story of every handkerchief and add some more. And we're hoping by making a pressure and a lot of publicity around these handkerchiefs, we're hoping, and it's quite a serious hope, that those handkerchiefs are going to end up in New York at the United Nations, which is hope. On April 13, 1975, the Lebanese civil war began. On April 13, 2010, children representing others around the world claimed loudly their rights in a peaceful demonstration in front of the Lebanese parliament. Dreaming of a better future, the Lebanese children participated in a ceremony attended by deputies, ministers, politicians and officials. Beirut was the second city after Chiang Mai receiving this exhibition of children handkerchiefs. The event was broadcast live on Tele Lumière and Nursat in Lebanon and all over the world. <laughs> من سبعين بلد مختلف وصلت من تايلند ليكون لبنان المحطة الثانية لأكبر معرض متجول حامل بصمات الأطفال من مختلف أنحاء العالم مشاركتنا بهالمشروع 
تأكيد أنه لابد من حملة إعلامية عالمية لدعم حقوق الأطفال وهي تعهد جديد منا كإعلاميين أنه تبقى حقوق الطفل أولوية بعملنا حتى نكون صوت وصورة لكل طفل بلبنان بالشرق وبالعالم We are here to present our school in order to send the message that we're here in order to make peace and to build the justice We made a song that expressed our feeling and our emotions toward our country, Lebanon and really want peace to spread in the whole world and even though that Lebanon is a really small country but the people in it has really great emotions that express justice, peace and understanding, love and comprehension on veut dire aux Libanais que ça suffit avec la guerre et la pollution. On a seulement un seul Liban et c'est unique. On doit on doit prendre soin de lui. Et puis euh, on, on espère que les gens et les politiciens voient que que les enfants ils aiment le Liban plus que les adultes et ils veulent vraiment euh, le soigner. Then. The flags moved to North Lebanon and were exhibited at Frère de la Salle College, Kfar Yashit, Zgharta. Students' drawings and innocent words showed a wonderful and peaceful future. Sur la disposition d'avoir une alimentation équilibrée, un lit douillé euh, et une éducation de scolarité. Je vais envoyer un message aux gens qui gouvernent le monde. Il faut arrêter la guerre. Thanks to these children who are bearing fruits all over the world, new signs of hope and passion emerge for a promising future full of peace and safety. And I'm very happy that uh, we just concluded the Congress and uh, we uh, are able to bring uh, about 100 children here, which was led by Del Hernandez and her team. Uh, to work with them in workshops about children's rights, about uh, media education with, with young, young children. We hope that our producers here, our educators here, will include in their program of action for the next three years something concretely for children and often by children. So I am really positive uh, that uh, something can be done. After all, the Holy Father is very particular. In fact, uh, this year, the message of the Holy Father on communication is children, get on the internet and spread the good news. Well, we did promise. We promised the, chi the, the children of Thailand here that we will listen to them. We will work for their rights. But I think the big message is that we want to work with them. So Cygnus has promised, and its members have said that they want to promise, to work with the children of today and work for a better tomorrow, a, a tomorrow which is built for them, by them, with us. Only.